The cytokines that are involved in this for T follicular um, are interleukin-21 and then interleukin-6. These guys are going to act together to result in the production of the transcription factor known as BC16, which also acts to play a role in differentiation as well, um, which makes me hypothesize that there may be some type of a polarized response in this, but um, it also plays a role in, in this context, because remember T follicular helper cells are involved in helping B cells and they move to the B cell vocal. So once we have this production of the B16 transcription factor, uh, we're going to actually have migration to the B cell zone. And uh, I don't think I labeled this, but for the interleukin-21, this comes from other CD4 positive T cells. Um, you can find this in, I'm just going to write CD4 positive T cells to be, list some that we know of, TH17, and then a T helper 2. And then for interleukin-6, this is a acute phase response protein. For the refractor function, um, really just activating B cells and isotype switching. So you have a B cell and it interacts with T follicular helper cells. It's kind of differentiated into plasma cells and memory cells. Um, one of the things that I really don't like about this textbook is the either they don't know or they didn't mention any of the information regarding the specific cytokines that play roles in each and every one of these. I kind of would hope to learn about them, but we do know that interleukin-21 also has an effector function role as well, which is why I, I hypothesize or I'm, I'm wondering why my book doesn't mention any type of polarized response to it. I guess because it migrates um, after exposure to that, so it's not an area of concentration to, to keep producing it in that quantity. But anyways, that's it for T follicular helper cells.